Okay, so today's topic. We're still we're still in the line of beginner Guilty Gear here a little bit. Uh, trying to get people who don't play Guilty Gear to get comfortable with the game. And today, I want to talk about getting out of the corner. Uh, especially if you haven't played any fighting games. Or if your character does not have a DP. Okay? If your character does have a DP, you have an invincible move that you can gamble on. Uh, there's not that much to talk about. You have an invincible move. It should make your opponent scared. You can use that to get out the corner. Step one. That was step one, right? Easy. Easy peasy. If you have a DP, you got a DP. Okay, let, let's let's stop memeing though. Let's stop memeing. Let's talk about actually how to get out of the corner. Before we even talk about anything, we need to talk about what method you're going to use to escape the corner, right? So the main thing you want to try to not do if possible emphasis on if, if possible it will come up in matches but like if you're thinking about escaping the corner you need to super jump not to jump you need to super jump why super jump because for the most part in guilty here the only moves that go up here like all the way up here to super jump height are really high commit really high risks like Basically, your opponent has to chase you up there if they really want to stop you or back off and wait for you to land. When you're thinking about escaping, you should aim for super jump at all times, no matter what. If you are holding up, you might feel like you're going to get extra bullied because characters just have shit. They just have shit. Like, Milion, for example, she has this, right? It's fun. If I choose to jump, I'm just caught. To be fair, this string, see super jump? Super jump got me out, but normal jump did not get me out. The only way I can catch super jump is if I already have a dash momentum. And I, and I have to be perfect. That's me trying to super jump when I have dash momentum off close slash and it wasn't faultless defense. That's how good super jump is. Most characters don't have mo moves that fucking swing up like not Yuki's close slash or Amelia's close slash so step one if you want to escape you super jump okay very very important step two faultless defense faultless defense is really important too why I, I I've been talking about this in a bunch of videos but uh I'm gonna talk about it again and I'm gonna talk about reasons why I think faultless defense is good because I've been hearing people say that faultless defense is not good enough and it bothers me a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's no other way to put it. So, you've seen this example already, right? Where if you block normally, this happens, but if you FD, that happens. So, what Faultless Defense does is for the cost of meter, you get more pushback, but the opponent gets to be plus two. So, this 5k that million does, that's normally minus three, is now minus one, right? Or this close slash, that's normally minus two becomes zero but look how far away she is compared to normal this is her normal close slash this is me fd'ing both hits when should you fault this defense is the question is the real 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 question because when you what you fault this defense matters a lot and i think the reason why people think that faultless defense is not effective is probably similar to why in early dragon ball people thought reflect was not good enough where they're not applying it the right way, they just want their opponent to get the fuck off them, and it's not just getting them off them. So I'm gonna give you a couple of suggestions of what to faultless defense, okay? So step number one, you generally want to faultless defense safe jumps. Why? So this safe jump is, I can't jump, okay? And if I, if, if soul DPs, uh, let's try hitting a DP in this game, huh? If soul DPs, I block the DP. Okay, so Million's in a pretty good spot here. If I faultless defense, if I faultless defense, she walked away a little bit, but look at how far away she is now. Okay, right? So if you faultless defense this, look how far away she is compared to normal. So here, see this? So she's pretty close. See the difference? So even though she gets more frame advantage, they have to either recognize that this is happening and they have to dash in after this. They have to dash in after this. This is really important. This will also help you with dealing with throw, right? 
So for example, okay. So this, right? Tricky, tricky stuff, tricky stuff. Look at what happened because I FD'd. They have to uh, actually adjust their timing for the throw in order to throw you if you FD. So not only do you push them out off a little bit more, but you also protect yourself from from some uh, pretty standard uh, offensive builds. So recommendation number one for FD, FD safe jumps. Recommendation number two is lights, but uh, I will say that this will vary a lot by character because with the Gatlings in this game, people don't have like 2 KKK, right? So for example, for Milia, for Milia, she has a, a 5k that uh, chains into itself fast, like another game. So for her, aiming to faultless defenses is a good idea. Because look at how far away she is here compared to here. Right? Uh, but lights in general are also pretty good. Some characters do like, uh, like for example, let's, let's actually bring the character that does this real quick. So Kai is actually one of the characters in the game that gets 2p into a knockdown. It's actually pretty uncommon in this game to get that. Um, so he gets like this. Okay. So we'll do the same string. Now this is what happened if you FD. Okay. So against characters that are able to convert their mashing button into a knockdown, it's important to use FD against them. Very, very important to use FD against them. That is spot number two. Now spot number three, we got to bring out a special character to do this. There's two more spots where you want to use FD. So spot number three is you want to FD moves that hit multiple times if possible. So single hitting, okay, I'm saying this weird, but single buttons that hit multiple times. So here's an example with Giovanna, right? Okay, and she's just in your face. She has Gatling options too. So let's do three hits. Okay. Now this is what it looks like normally, so look again. Now this is what happens if I FD. So see how much farther she is? Compared to normal. There's another one. There's another one. Alright, so look look at the distance. Now if you FD this. See that? So a character that has attacks that hit multiple times, you really want to FD those moves. You really, really, really want to FD those moves in general, in general, in general. So one more. There's one more spot. And it actually involves public enemy number one. Okay, so this one is a pretty interesting one. And this this is actually going to bring us back to the people who think FD is not good enough. Uh, again, it's about application. So... So he has a really good move called Far Slash that we all know about. And Far Slash, Far Slash actually ignores Faultless Defense. So you're making this plus four and he still gets the advantage. He doesn't give a fuck. But he can't, we know that he can't just do Far Slash, Far Slash. Like if he just does it, we can interrupt, right? We can interrupt if he goes Far Slash, Far Slash. So he has to pick something else. So he has a couple, he has two main ways he picks something else, right? One way is he does this. That's one way. If we FD this, it still reaches. And the other way is that he does this. Now, if he does this, it whiffs. It's another one that he does. So, it whiffs. So, against Soul, we have to try to read him. And sometimes we don't FD the far slash and we pick to block again or mash or whatever. Or we FD on purpose to make the follow up with and make him force him to pick far slash far slash or far slash dash. So even though there's a string that ignores faultless defense that he has, which is actually just far slash far slash, if we if we think he's going to do something else, we can take our turn. We can take our turn. Okay. So faultless defense is important and also knowing when to use faultless defense is important. Okay. Now there's one more thing about escaping the corner that I want to mention. We talked about FD a lot. So once you get to super jump height, uh, most characters, not all characters, but most characters have something that either just gets them out or helps them stall, right? So Soul has this and he has uh, this. Sorry. What's the input for this move? 
bruh. There it is. <laughs> he's, he's got this too to stall. Kai has uh, air stunnage. Milia has a gajillion air dashes and stuff. Uh, so once you get up there, whatever your character has, I would say default to that option until your opponent shows you they can stop it. And then the guessing games happen because they would either have to chase you again, go hard up there and chase you, like basically read you and intercept you or wait and be like, all right, so where is he going to go? Some characters are better at it than others, and then depending on resources, they'll be able to stop you. But the main point is that you're going to make your opponent think about your escape. And if they're not thinking about your escape, then you just get the fuck out. Any questions?